All right, Adam Mares, let's get into our power rankings. Best players that came from relative obscurity. I didn't want to do like best players from the second round. I feel like people have done that. Best mm -hmm. players that went under like 15th in the draft, but like a player that came into the NBA and generally NBA fans didn't necessarily know who they were, but then all of a sudden, and maybe like as it, we ramped up to the draft, they started to kind of know, but not a guy like, like Devin Booker went, late in the draft, like 13th in the draft or whatever. But he went to Kentucky. People people knew him already, so I don't think we would count him. Chris Paul obviously went high in the NBA draft, so we wouldn't count him and guys like that. Uh, number one, I'm going with Kawhi Leonard. I don't think a lot of people knew who he was yeah, coming, out of, coming out of San Diego State. That's my number one guy. That one's pretty easy. Uh, he gets traded for... Uh, for George Hill. What, <laughs> was he, what, what pick was Kawhi Leonard again? Do you, see, do you have that pulled up? I believe I he was 15th. 15th. 15th, yeah. Yeah. 15th in the 2011 draft, and his, his teammate, um, Paul, Paul George, I think, was, was in that one. Or the, so the with one him, after. you know, it's not that nobody was talking about Kawhi. It's that nobody was talking about him as a two-time finals MVP and yeah, one of probably. the five best players in the NBA for a five-year stretch. The distance he rose. <laughs> yeah, the, he, he <laughs> rose quite a distance, so... Uh, I think that's a really good one. Definitely belongs. Kawhi Leonard, number one for me. Number two, Giannis. I think that's a guy we started to kind of Man, hear. already have four. Woo. We started to hear. Well, the, I'm going I'm going reverse order. I'm going one and then two because I think it's easier to. Oh, wait. Uh, that was one? Kawhi yeah, was Leonard one was me. one? Oh, my yeah. goodness. This, I, I'm outraged. Are you kidding me? <laughs> got your that boy. was one? I got I your boy five. on the list. At five, I thought, oh, my boy. This is ridiculous. Okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> All right, one, Kawhi Leonard, 15th pick. Yeah, how best, crazy. Best players that came from relative obscurity. So ranking okay. them as far as how good of a player they are. How many MVPs does Kawhi have again? <laughs> Two in the finals. In the final. Okay, finals MVPs. <laughs> All right. Okay. Makes sense. 15th pick. Yeah, yeah, wow. Going. Giannis number two. I can't even – first of all, doing a list in regular order. I can't believe it. And then those two. All right. I was, I was fully supportive of your list for a second there. You're now arbitrary you're list, seat, Nick. You are you're in the hot seat. <laughs> your arbitrary ways we have to go about these lists. Giannis uh, number two. Okay, I think he Giannis is number, number two. two. I, think I think he is number two. When the draft started, started like like building up. All of a sudden, people knew Giannis's name. People were like, "Oh, he could be this guy," but he was nobody, right? Like he just came from this gym where he was playing against guys look like they were eighth graders and like this uh, and all that. So coming from obscurity, I think that one is. Was, is an incredible uh, rise to the top considering what he just did. Number three. You're going to change it live because of how I'm outraging right no, now. No, First no, of no, all, I, there's no number you can put him out that you've already ruined it. I'm I've already going to flame you as soon as you say this. But I've go already for it. ruined I hear it, but Nikola Jokic is my number three. My I think goodness. He ob obviously rose from obscurity, complete, like second round pick obscurity, like absolutely uh, incredible the way that he has risen. Nick. He's the MVP of the league. The most valuable player. The first time that's Giannis ever happened. Giannis has won two MVPs. All right, he was taken 13th. We're talking about the 41st pick. It's never happened, the second rounder, to win the MVP. Now here, when we talk about obscurity, we talk about obscurity here. He was drafted during a commercial. He was drafted <laughs> during a commercial. At least when Kawhi Leonard and Giannis were drafted, they were talking about him for 10 minutes. They did the interview. They called him in. He was sl asleep. And there was a commercial going because it was the second round. That's called obscurity. In fact, when they were picked, they were like, this guy's in obscurity currently. That's what they said. This is insane that you would have him number three. This is insane. I think Kawhi and Giannis are better players than Jokic. They Okay, that's fine. That That's fair. So that's are they I have them three higher. times? Are they three times higher? They were per picked three times sooner. Three times <laughs> up. They were known. There were scouting reports on these guys. There weren't even scouting reports on Jokic. Man obscurity we might have to pull up the word i'm gonna look up i'm opening up webster's <laughs> dictionary to make sure i understand the word the same way that you do number obscurity. four well, the state of being unknown hmm yeah that's what i thought it meant <laughs> you can put a lot of people in these unknowns though right like unknown to nba and people we're posting um, we're, we're posting this on twitter right sure yeah we're posting this on twitter make okay. sure it says nick's list not adam's list i have a reputation to uphold <laughs> Number four, Rudy Gobert. He was a late pick. Talk about yeah. being drafted during a commercial. He rose to become now. He's probably going to make the Hall of Fame just based on Defensive Player of the Year awards alone. Uh, and I don't know if you could do a list like this without putting that guy on there because of who our boss is.
twenty seventh uh, pick. I wouldn't mind if he goes back to obscurity, to be honest. But uh, yeah. uh, and now everyone here. talks about him every single time he, he steps on the floor, for better or for worse, for him. Number five. I had a hard time with this one, and I had I a hard time easy. with the top three. I went Fred Van Vliet. Like going from wow. obscurity, like that guy was in the that guy was in the G League, and not a lot of people knew him. To now the the way that he's the way that he's grown, developed, he's averaging like twenty points in the finals and making all that, and now he's making a big contract and all that kind of stuff. So, a couple other guys I considered: Paul George. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, Don't, we're not getting out of here because Fred Van Fleet would have been a great honorable mention. I mean, he would have been great. Okay. If this list had fifteen players, I think Fred Van Fleet would have definitely <laughs> been on my list. But how many, you know, how many championships does he have? He has one, right? Yeah, one. He has one. It, would you say he's the best something of this era? Is there anything you would maybe say the most, you know, the best or the best player that won a title with a G League that is now <laughs> playing in the NBA? <laughs> there you go. Because we happen to have what I would say is a best defensive player of a generation and a three time NBA champion and a guy who was on a team that won 73 games, who, by the way, was taken in the second round of the 37th pick and mm. Draymond Green. But he That's won obscurity. Michigan State. I feel like people knew him, right? Like, Okay. Like, All right. Kind of, That's fair. That's right, fair. I, I kind of took it a little bit. Took, I took some people saying. out of it because I, I, got I, even, I even consider Donovan Mitchell because he's kind of in that mid round. Yeah. But I feel like people knew him. He played at Louisville. Uh, that's that's I think that's kind of fair because Michigan State like has big you know high profile this or that. I, although I will say uh, Wichita State, <laughs> I remember those teams very. They were it's weird because they are obscurity like that was a small school that he helped put on yeah, the right. map. But at the same time, they were very high profile. They were kind of like the new Gonzaga for a short minute there, you know, where they they were a small school, but everybody knew them. They saw him coming. Yeah, Ron Baker. You got you got Ron Baker, that of course, man. <laughs> He's the legend. Uh, Jimmy Butler, I also considered. Jordan Clarkson was another name I really considered for this list. Same same kind of vein as Fred Van Vliet, second round. <laughs> then he went to the Lakers, and now a bunch of people knew him, dated a Kardashian, and then everybody knew him. I can't wait to see the replies on this, <laughs> on this tweet. I can't wait. <laughs> Kawhi, Giannis, Jokic, Gobert, Van Vliet. That's what I end up with. I love it. I love it, man. <laughs> I love it. As I like when you do the list, we might have to have you do the list every <laughs> week now. So I just get to, I just get to we'll rip just call on it you. Nick comes up with a bad list that Adam hates. That's what we'll, that's what we'll call it every week. So funny. <laughs> there you go, guys. Thanks so much for listening to Locked On NBA. If you haven't, go subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, check out our ultimate mock draft coming. Go subscribe to the feed right now the ultimate mock draft it was the nfl draft now we're doing the nba everybody everybody makes a pick there's gonna be guys joining us brian scalabrini joining us ryan mcdonough joining us david Locke's gonna host it our lockdown nba draft guys will be part of it so go subscribe to that feed guys thanks so much for listening to lockdown nba